hello guys so welcome to this video and in this video we'll be talking about writing to files so in this one we'll be writing and deleting a file so let's create our structure quickly so for us to write to file we have to use the keyword file then we create a pointer to a variable that we want to use to hold that then then you use the function called f open okay so for the first one we put in the file name so let's say test dot tst so this is going to be the file name if the file does not exist it's going to create it and if the file exists it's going to either write to it or overwrite what is in it or delete it so the next thing uh the parameters we use in the, this is the other parameter and we use this in delete in creating or writing reading or appending so the first one is append you can choose to append you can choose to read or write and we'll be using write okay <laughs> so it is important that every time you open your file that you should also close it so you close it by saying f close okay f close and the name of the file so f close tst so instead of using the tst since we've used a pointer variable to assess to to us we've assigned the values to a pointer variable we just say pf here all right now it's time to write to the file so to write to a file all you need to do is to use the fprintf function Then the first thing is, what file are you writing to? So we are writing to the file that is stored in the pointer variable. And what are we writing inside it? So let me just write in my name inside. So precious Ereo. So before I do this, let's not forget our return statement. So before I do this, let me just run you through what has happened. So for me to write a file, First, I could have done it like this, F open, let me take this out, F open, but I needed to assign it to a variable so that I can reuse the values, okay? So now that we've written the variable, so I, I use the keyword file, then I use the pointer variable, then I start the F open function with the two parameters, so it should, it should create a file called test.tst and it should write to it. And what should it write to it? It should write precious area hole to the file that is stored at this variable. Then after writing, it should close the file, okay? So take note of the left-hand side. I have nothing here. The last file I have here is 034. You see, nothing else. They are all well numbered. So I'm going to run this now. Let's see what happens. As you can see, the file has been created test.tst i did not create this manually if i open it you can see my name is inside of it so let's do it again let me change it to something else let me say i am from nigeria okay take note of the test.tst and i'm going to run it again now let's check what is inside and as you can see i am from nigeria has been written to it so it has replaced what was there previously so if you don't want to overwrite, you use A to append. So I will append something to I am from Nigeria. So let me say I am from Nigeria, the new line. Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Save. And let's run this. And let's check our test file. And as you can see, I am from Nigeria and Nigeria is a giant of Africa has also been appended to the file now how about if you want to delete the file so if you want to delete the file we can do that with an if and else statement so we say if then we use the remove function okay remove so remove test.tst if it's equal to zero, that is if the exit code is equal to zero, then we should print out something. We can say 
file deleted successfully. This is deletion. Else, we can say something like maybe file does not exist anymore. All right. So we are trying to delete the file. So let me comment this out. So if remove test the TST is equal to zero, if the exit code is zero, that means the file has been deleted. Else, it does not exist. So we are trying to delete a file that does not exist. So take note of my test the TST. And if I run this code now, and as you can see, test the TST has been deleted, and it says file is deleted successfully. If I try to do it again, it say file does not exist anymore. So guys, this is it on how to create a file, write to it or append to it, and also how to delete a file in C programming language. So guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. So hey guys, in the last video, we talked about how to write and delete files in C. In this video, we'll be talking about how to read files in C. So let's get to it. So we say file, then you assign it to a pointer. You can call it anything. Then the F open <coughs> function. Then the file you want to open. And the parameter is R, so you're reading. But this file does not exist. So let's create it quickly. Test does TS does not exist. So I'll create it. And I'm going to put some stuff inside. So I'll say I am precious <coughs> Ireo. I am Nigerian. Nigeria is a great country. I love my African brothers and sisters and you too watching me. Okay, so that's just a simple file created with tests. Now we can open it. So now that we've created it, the next thing is we need a buffer to be able to, you know, read the file. Okay, so we have to assign this to a, a character variable. So we say char, we can call this buffer. And we can assign values to it. So I can just say this is 500. So I use the wrong brackets. It's an array, don't forget. And don't also forget, we should always close our file immediately we open it after we are done. Okay, so F close. So that should be at the end there. And now that we have the buffer set, we can read the content using F gets. You remember F gets? So it's small letters, it's F gets. So the first thing is what we are reading, buffer. Then the size is 500 and we are printing it out to the pointer PF, okay? So now let's print out what we have there. So print F, remember it's an array S. And we are printing out buffer. But this is going to print out one line, okay? So let's see, print F. So let's run this and you see it's only printed one line so for us to be able to print out all the lines inside of our test file we have to put this in a while loop so let's create a while loop here so while then inside of the function we put our f gets and we say if it is not equal to null, that is, if it has not gotten to the end of the file, then it should do what? It should print the buffer. So let me delete these spaces. Save. And let's do this again. 
and as you can see everything in the file has been printed i am precious down to you two watching me okay so we can also test if the file exists before we even do anything so let's check if our file exists first before we even try to read content from it we can use an if we'll use an if statement after buffer so we say if pf is equal to null that is if it does not exist then we print what we say file does not exist then what should we do if it exists we do everything inside of our while loop so we put the while loop here okay so let's try to run this now but first let me clear this place okay cleared all right so what i've done is we try to open a file that exists then assign it to a buffer then we put an if statement that if the file is null that is if the file does not exist then it should print file does not exist but if the file exists that is else then it should print out the content so let's change this let's do this to test.tx which does not exist and let's see what it prints out for us so you see it says file does not exist what if we use a file that exists test.txt i've just changed that let me clear this so you see the file exists and it has gone in to print out the content of the test.txt file which is this okay so guys and it has closed it so guys this is it we've been able to write to a file delete a file and now we've just been able to read content from a file in the c programming language so guys this is it and i'm happy to run this course or this journey with you i'll see you in the next programming language but definitely we'll be doing a lot of projects inside of this c programming language courses so be back to check all the projects that we create so guys this is it and i'll see you in the next one thank you